Hey, welcome back to Triple R. Today we're gonna take a look at this dollhouse. I got a Dollar Tree, seem to be Dollar Twenty Five Tree, I guess. But here's what it is: includes one house, one bed, two chairs, blah blah blah. I'm really just concerned about the house, so I bought two of them. You can stack them together to make a whole house, it seems. But we're just gonna concentrate on this one. So of course I don't have any use for a pink and white purple house. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna customize it into a like a, a Halloween more like a haunted looking house in the easiest way possible so there's some junk that fell out uh, I guess you get a, quite a bit of items for a dollar so that's nice if you want to use that stuff you could probably um, do something with those I don't know so painted door that's purple I don't know why I said painted door but it's taped so I'm just gonna open so that's nice some ridges there there's some writing on that um, pop out there which I don't care for I'm not sure why they would put the writing on the outside versus the inside but I mean it is what it is probably why it's at Dollar Tree so here's the fix fusion all-in-one satin black spray paint so we'll take our paint and we're gonna fix this all right we're gonna start our customization I probably should just say spray painting this thing we're not really customizing or adding anything to it we'll paint it all black easy as can be try to get all the purple blacked out look at that already looks better so that color is going to seep through so you have to do more than one coat of course just like anything when you paint it uh, so keep doing it let it dry a little bit you'll see it seep out mostly on that pop out with the ridges and you can see it right now seeping look back to the purple and we'll give it some more time and spray it again so do this a couple times make sure you get all the the purple out purple and the white so i think it looks good already um it's a low investment some paint a dollar house here has a nice like halloween gothic look to me so that's why i picked it up so look at the sides and we're gonna tip it up here in a second and get the rest of it so i'm gonna leave the back unpainted which i'll explain here in a second Right, I had to go grab a glove so I said I'm gonna leave the back unpainted because maybe if I want to put like a light back there having the white and the I think some yeah there's some pink there and the purple maybe the light will shine through the windows and maybe get sight of a glow so that'd be kind of cool but that'll be at a later time so I'm gonna leave all that I'm not gonna spray paint it the bottom I'm actually concerned about so the sides need to be spray painted to see the purple going through and a bit of the white so I'm gonna get these sides here and black it all out as best we can it's definitely easy to do so you can also get these gloves at Dollar Tree so <laughs> they're not great they, uh, they didn't seep through so no paint to get on my hand using the glove which is nice but they're very very thin so, almost all done here tip it back uh, I think the bottom did warp a little bit as I guess being the wet paint warped it but Probably easy fix and maybe take a light or two if you need to it stands up fine so far so I'm not too worried about it so some of the back did get painted right here what we're gonna do is spray paint it's not, it's not perfect but it stands up good it's a good size for I think uh, miniatures like nano uh, metal figurines stuff like that and we'll compare one here towards the end so I think it looks pretty cool that way looks a lot better than it did beforehand um, I'm gonna keep this one half I did buy like I think four of these so I could put one together and paint that one all black I'm gonna keep this half because you want to put it on the shelf you can put it towards the back and I think what would look cool in front of this would be the Hot Wheels Batmobiles so I might uh, take a picture of those in front of these see how it looks all right here we have Guile at his new house I guess when he bought it maybe he bought it from Dan that's why it looked like that but anyway has a brand new paint job it's blacked out looks cool you can see the house is a little smaller than I thought it was the door and stuff so it won't be able to like fit in the door but spacing and stuff it still looks cool um, probably when you do a full house it looks even better but I think this on the shelf would look cool uh, I think it'll even look even better with the Batmobiles sitting in front of it they won't have one on hand at this time uh, but I will be doing that so for a dollar investment I think it looks pretty cool for Halloween uh, or anytime for like maybe a Gotham City you want to put together so thanks for watching Triple R have a good day or night wherever you are